what's up guys welcome back to across nigeria this is where we do news on politics celebrities and also metro stories so um i i once made a video about the bridge that uh, was leading to the hometown of the past governor of Imo state Rocha. so Korocha, all right if you check uh, my past videos i think you're gonna see that um story there that um the bridge was kind of faulty okay so so far so good um emeka ehedio have resumed his duty as the governor of Imo state and um everything has been handed over to him so um he's now beginning to you know dispose his own duties so so far so good there is a bridge all right um that has just been uncovered okay a bridge that was built by the past governor of Imo state which has a okay a bridge leading to a major um river all right um that has been built before without rot so a lot of nigerians have um, you know given their own opinion which i want you guys to also give your own opinion i'm gonna play that video for you guys to see all right and listen to what a maker is saying about um the government all right so um so far so good this bridge um was uncovered a maker as you can see you're gonna see it on that video was with journalists and other government dignitaries trying to show what the people of Imo State have gone through. I'm not I'm not from Imo State, so I'm only trying to bring you news from what is going on round across Nigeria. So I'm not in support of any political party and so on. All right. So um someone here, a lot of people have react, which I want you guys to to see. Um, or to put your own contribution because so far so good. Emeka Hedio have you heard from his statement, which you hear from that video, says he's not when it happens like this, people will say he's trying to probe the past government. All right. So um someone here said um this may not be Rocha's fault. All right. So uh, I want to take um something from what this guy is saying. The guy said it is it may not be from Rocha's fault. What of works department and the engineer that oversees the work all right so that is a very good point there because what i am seeing here is the um, <clears throat> irrespective i'm sorry about that so irrespective of um, what people talk about uh, rocha zokorocha like i said and i'm always saying it um, no matter how you try you cannot please everybody that is just um the fact about life no matter how good you are don't allow anybody to deceive you so it's always good you do something not to please people so no matter how good you are um you cannot please somebody and you can always um be replaced no matter how good you are so someone here said this may not be Rocha's fault what of works department and the engineer that oversees the work yes um you don't expect the governor to oversee everything that's that was why he have um commissioners that was why he have uh, local government chairman councillors and so on other people that will help him all right to oversee those works all right so the guy here made a very good point which i think it is true so another person here said um bad works should be pointed out building a bridge without reinforcement is death sentence to its user i'm an architect so i know what i am talking about the governor and the contractor should be called for question so people need to go to jail if not this kind of wickedness no go stop for this country yes and that person also have a very good point there all right because um what i'm trying to say here is that um a lot of people wants to take advantage of every opportunity they see now the engineer that well, that was in charge of this work nobody's gonna tell me that the person don't know the danger of this kind of work here yes um the engineer it could be to minimize some catch some expenses to divert some money and something like that so you you can now see that um, we we ourselves sometimes are the problem um we are we are we are we have our own problem let me put it that way because there is no engineer this is the same road that same engineer will pass 
this is the same road uh, his family member will pass it's a bridge this is the same road his uh, cousin brother sister it could be anybody close relative will pass but he still go ahead to deliver such job building bridge without rods all right so that is another point so another person here says maybe the rod is too expensive okay so um that's just his own opinion maybe the rod is too expensive maybe they are trying to minimize cash yeah it happens everywhere you know telling somebody oh, no, no no just do it do it so that you minimize cost something like that but the full money was there it's not as if the engineer don't know what to do he knows what to do he knows um the danger of it but I really don't know what, why he would go ahead to do such thing. So, um, someone here said, um, Yvonne here, this lady said, no need for fault finding. Do your job, do your own, and make sure to leave your mark for posterity to salute you. All right. Another person here said, get to job and stop wasting time. So, some people is accusing a make I hear her. Um, of beginning to you know find fault about the previous government while some people are still blaming the past government so what do you guys think about this okay so this is the story so far so good a bridge that was uncovered by a maker actually the bridge um, the bridge uh, was was destroyed by erosion something like that as you can see from that video Okay, think the bridge was destroyed by erosion so it, it was later find out that the bridge was built without rot so a lot of people here says um, um, the government should be probed they should ask question about the engineer that oversees the job something like that and uh, some people here argues that um, a mega a mega I should stop finding fault and do his job and get the job done so what do you guys think about this okay so after watching the video you can put your own contribution on the comment section below and if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome please do hit the red subscribe button down the video below and click on the red the bell icon so you get notified whenever we bring you stories what is going on across nigeria and let me use this opportunity for those of you that want to start a youtube channel there is an online training about how to start a youtube channel how to make passive income posting your videos just like my youtube channel here posting videos on youtube so the training is all about how to create um your videos for youtube you can also use your android device device to create this video so this video i'm actually using my phone to create this video all right so um, the training will cover how to use your phone create videos for youtube how to post your videos on youtube how to make your video goes viral it's not just about posting videos on youtube you need to make your video goes viral all right there are some tricks to make your video your video goes viral so the training will cover all that and youtube minimum requirement is that you have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hour before you get into their partner program that's when you start earning revenue from youtube so the training covers all that okay so we are going to give you some little secret and tricks on how to get your 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hour right so we also design website if you need a personal website you need a business website organization website okay so you also contact us through the email address on your screen all right so we give you terms on how to get our service all right so that's the story so far so good guys um a maker area uncovers a bridge that was built by roachers um administration without rods that is a dead sentence believe me guys i'm not in support of it it's a dead sentence and um that is it if you have anything to contribute you can put it down in the comment section below i still remain across nigeria i will see you guys in the next video in the in the submission and he said it was government has on how 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 can it I mean Actually, um, the method in which the government was run was such a way that when direction is given to be paid, we pay without asking any further questions. Is that the right thing? It's not the right thing, sir, but we act on direction. Madam, you were a civil servant. A civil servant. Yes, yes, And then um, yes. you took oath of office. Yes, sir. 
And you know, what, what is strange to me, what is very strange to me that there is no, I've not cited any iron rod. I've not cited any rod, and this is a bridge. That is what I consider, that's what's very strange to me. Yeah. I've not cited any, even here. Yeah. I, well, certainly there's no rod here, but that is what is strange. Yeah, it is Because strange. you see, you are putting a bridge across yeah. a major river and without any any reinforcement at all. Yeah. Journalists, I hope you are seeing. Yeah. Tomorrow people will say he had your wants to that I'm probing. I am not. But you can see what we are going through. Mm. But the permanent secretary was then could have at least even though the uh, the, the corner did not pass through him, could have come to check if the exercise done if it is the right thing. Because me, mine is to do payments, yeah. his own is to come and verify. As, as, um, as a professional, yeah. as permanent secretary, he has a responsibility. Exactly, sir. I've asked him a question uh, through the head of service, he has responded to us. But I've also asked you, he now told us you paid. Yeah. Um, um, on, the, on the authority of the governor. Yeah. Now, what my, my worry is the propriety. And I said whether it conforms with civil service standards and who does it. Uh, <laughs> Madam, look at this. That was no, what, when, does, we to, no, when, we, when we visited the new government house, when we visited the new were with us, we saw a major crack. A major crack on a building that is supposed to be housing the governor. And at that point, I said, look, wait a minute. Let's get structural engineers to go and look at it so that you don't have calamity midway. But it's important for 